I went in the military at the time when France was transitioning from a uh, um, volunteer army to a professional army. Uh, and so uh, I was one of the last few people for whom it was mandated that they participate in the military. I actually embraced it. I thought it would be a cool adventure. And so uh, I, um, I did a month of uh, boot camp uh, and that was the coolest thing. It was really, really tough. I had never put myself through such physical uh, uh, hardship and discomfort. And I discovered that I had um, uh, mental boundaries uh, that in fact didn't really exist. Uh, after that, I really felt like I could do anything I set my mind to. A lot of our kids here at MPH will go on to uh, study engineering and yet have uh, sometimes never touched a tool before and so I thought it would be nice to bring my skills uh, here uh, to MPH and uh, encourage kids to use tools and, and making them feel empowered that way. I found that um, very concrete things often are the best way to reach out to young people mm -hmm. and teaching a subject is not always the most conducive to uh, connecting with young people and helping them grow. When I work on the, with the Bicycle Mechanics Club and, and its members, we are on the same level. When we're in that club, we all speak the same language. And I find this very gratifying. I couldn't live without coffee. I drink one in the morning, one when I first come here, one around one o'clock, one around two o'clock, <laughs> and usually uh, four, four cups of coffee, maybe five sometimes. Assuming that I wouldn't be as athletic as I am today, I would have shifted from working on bicycles to working on motorcycles. Uh, so I picture myself owning a farm somewhere in central New York with a barn and uh, designing uh, cafe racers and riding them in the countryside. That's where I picture myself in 20 years.